Dr. Alan Gadian is one of the most prominent British meteorologists. He says the world is heading for disaster unless something is done urgently. The biggest change that people are ignoring is that Arctic polar ice will go in September in the next five to ten years. There's no question. The politicians say, no, it's 50 years away, but it's not. It's getting thinner and thinner. This warming will accelerate unless something is done soon. First, don't stop reducing greenhouse gases. And second, use marine cloud brightening as a stopgap to buy time. Marine cloud brightening is a natural phenomena. You insert and make a few more droplets of a slightly smaller size and the same amount of water in them, then what happens is they reflect more sunlight. The so-called MCB approach seems to be a relatively harmless geoengineering solution. It's not about spraying chemicals, but about spraying seawater. The advantage of marine cloud brightening is that it's a natural process and we can switch it off and it has no long-term detriments. And that's why we want to do an experiment, we want to show that this is, um, this is a method of actually temporarily keeping the planet cool although it's not a long-term solution and no one should think it's a solution then perhaps we have to consider doing something to, to stop this potential catastrophe that's going to occur. Marine cloud brightening was originally suggested and researched by climatologist John Latham. Stephen Salter, an emeritus professor of engineering design, proposed this could be done by a fleet of 1900 unmanned ships. Physicist and inventor Armand Neukermans is now trying to upscale MCB to experimental testing in the USA. I would like you and, and the people watching here to say, look, I'm pushing geoengineering because it is a major, major problem. David King says this is the biggest crisis facing mankind. It's called the Cloud Albedo Project. How expensive is developing and testing it? The first thing we've got to do is to produce a spray mechanism. Now, it's, it's like building an inkjet printer. You need to have these nanoscale particles, these, these half a micron particles or smaller. So we need to build the spray system. And that probably, with design CFD, is probably going to take uh, of the order of 20 million euros. We also need about 3 million euros to do the numerical modeling to make sure that we've got everything exactly right. And then we want a big field experiment where scientists from all over the world can actually test to see that it works and to see the, the principles. And that will probably cost 20 million euros. I come from a city called Manchester and we have a soccer team called Manchester United. And if I had Wayne Rooney's salary for a year, we could, we could address this problem. We asked Alan Gadian how Cool Down the Planet could help these scientists and inventors forward. Well, I'm hoping from this personally that perhaps people will contact me with saying, look, can we work together on this, I, on the scientific level? I'm also hoping that economists, politicians, uh, planners will <coughs> say, yes, we've got to talk about this. So a very much started debate is, is absolutely essential. An international debate would be very welcome. But which public personality has the courage to start it? It is, it is politically a, a very difficult issue. Who is going to stick their neck out on this? The scientists can't do it on their own. The politicians, I don't think, will do anything. I think it's up to, up to individuals and, and, it's, and it's the young generation that are going to have to deal with the problems we've left them with. Last question. With so much expertise on this subject, is there still a need for fresh ideas and outside-the-box thinking by students and crowd engineers? Very much so, because young people have a very much more open mind. They, they, they look at things in, often in a more open framework. Perhaps there are other ways of generating these droplets. Perhaps there's other ways of achieving the, the, the change in reflectance of the surface. Uh, so that I'm not saying that MCB is the saviour. Out of the box ideas, uh, yes. Uh, I don't know what they are, but it's up to people to think of them. And it's up to you, the, the young generation, to think of them. 
you have we have to do something it's not it's not we're not looking at a hypothetical or dra soap drama here we're talking about real life and we are facing uh, a catastrophe uh, I'm convinced because of my knowledge of the weather and what's happening in the extreme climate change.